Optimator, which is an application from the Mac App Store. This essentially provides Photoshop-like functionality with a smaller price tag and an easier-to-use interface. Now, this is by no means professional, but it provides uh, basic functionality to any user, and it creates very nice, usable images. So opening up the application first, I will present it with the type of um, user interface that isn't exactly single uh, windowed mode. But it provides a different number of panels that you can adjust to your liking and resize them. So if it's on your screen, or you can go into the full screen mode, but however, this still leaves you with these dangling options over here. So let's begin by just going over through the different features and how this program works. So this, for example, is a gradient. And you can change it to different types of gradients, and you can apply it by clicking, and then you can drag it to adjust the angle however you wish. So here you provide a different number of default gradients. You can add your own gradients as you wish. So for example, here we have this. And then we can add different layers, remove layers from the layers section. You can then add some stickers, for example, this sticker. And we can change the colors of the shapes. You can add more shapes and we can customize it, add more points, add less points, make it different geometric shapes depending on how you require it. Uh, since I copy and pasted this, the same style will mirror onto the other one, but you can change the style from here. I'm changing the shadow, the offset, the colors, and the style of the gradients. You can further customize this by adding custom shapes and different types of options found within this uh, application. For example, closing path, and here we have our own irregular custom shape. And here you can change the source of the gradient. So this will also change the appearance of the shape itself. So going to the different options, we have um, intelligence selection tools, for example, like a magic wand in Photoshop. We have just general selection tools that select an area and paste it to another. For example, if you go over to our background and copy this over to somewhere else, it would overlap it. Circular selection, just selecting in general. You have all these different features for trimming, erasing, and drawing. I come default within Pixelmator itself. This is just filling, sponge. These provide a variety of different options for your wallpaper to stand out, for example, twirling, warping, smudging, so you can see here how it's working. And these are just uh, clone stamp tools, for example, that's also found in Photoshop. You can clone something from a different area, and it'll provide a similar appearance. This is useful, for example, when fixing faces, etc. I'll just move back our background here. Um, here we have an eraser, again just coloring it in, and then here we have some more custom imagery that you can adjust and design your own shapes however you need to design. Close it, you can fill it in however you need to. In terms of shapes, there's a variety of different shapes, you can customize each shape, you can fill them in, you can fill them in with a gradient change the gradient, change the appearance, add fonts, Hello. and there's also a variety of different filters that you can pass through your image. So let's so let's let's take all these layers and then let's actually merge all layers into one. And let's head over to view show effects. So there's a variety of different effects Pixelmator comes with. So for the twenty dollars it costs, it's fairly decent, and each one of these is customizable to whichever level you require to have. For example, distorting it, bumping the image, creating a glass-like effect. There's a variety of different themes you can choose, changing the color balance and color saturation to specific styles that you may use in your work that provide a level of uniqueness. Their application. So all of these different elements blend into this application. I really like it. I find something that will improve in it would be the, the different small windows over here that I find are annoying. But yeah, thank, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video.